I think the lockdown was a very challenging period, uh, especially because it was a period that we weren't prepared on. It uh, it just uh, happened from from one day to another. So uh, a very challenging period, a very intense period, because uh, there were a lot of questions, a lot of uncertainties, not only for, for us as a management team, but also for everyone within the organization. People had to start working from home. They had to combine it with the, the daycare of their children. Some people also lost uh, loved ones. So it was a very intense and, and very challenging period where I think that communication was key. I think communication is always key in an organization, but now in these uh, very unique times, I think communication is even more important. So we we really uh, worked on that and, and focused on that. I, I like to have things under control. And now I didn't have everything under control, so I had to uh, let things go and I had to try to relax on a few things. So um, that was challenging for me as a person, so um, that it puts things in another perspective, of course. And as a person, it was also a time where we were together as a family more than ever before. Normally, my husband travels a lot and the children are out with their friends or at school but now we were together for a long period of time which was challenging from time to time but on the other hand it was also very it it was a very unique period and we did realize and we often said it to one another this is a a period that we will never have again uh, because the children are getting older and they will uh, spread their wings so it was uh we we a a unique time that we really cherished with both our hands, I think. I think we all have some ideas on, okay, this I will take from uh, this period. Uh, It's a bit like the 1st of January. (laughs) But um, for example, I do take some more me time. I started, uh, I started with start to run a little bit. Uh, I'm not an expert yet, but I do want to continue it. And now that we came out of the lockdown, I do realize how hard it is because we are, when we come at home in the evening, it's quite late already. And then you want to start running, but you also have to prepare dinner, etc. And you still have to work. And uh, so it's challenging to maintain that uh, good habit. I'm very fortunate that I've already met a lot of inspiring people and that I've also worked together with a lot of uh, inspiring people. And I always try to to have some takeaways or a few things that I, I that I take along my path. And there is one advice that uh, an inspiring colleague has ever given me, and that colleague was named Sabine. Um, <laughs> Yes, uh, when we worked together, you uh, told me that, uh, and it's a quote, changing a company is not an event, it's an evolution. And uh, I think it's an advice that, I take, that I've taken with me and that I still practice every day, because if you, if you want to change a th- one thing from one day to another, it won't work. You have to do it step by step. You have to do it together with the team. And uh, it's also an advice that was very uh, powerful now during the lockdown and during the, 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 this, this unique period. When you want to achieve a goal, you have to be patient and do things step by step. And uh, patience is not my, uh, my biggest strength. So um, I think it's an, important, uh, in, it's an important one that I've taken with me. Professionally, it isn't that long ago because uh, last year uh, we've uh, changed the name of our organization from Secretary Plus into Bright Plus. Uh, Secretary Plus exists uh, or was founded in Belgium in 1993, so we exist 26 years in Belgium. And after 26 years, we've decided to change our name, which was uh, quite challenging because it's, it's an entire exercise that you need to do. You need to find 
first you need to decide, okay, this is not the name that we can continue with. Secretary is, is, is not a function uh, that exists. The market has changed. Uh, it's an old fashioned word. You don't hear it. Uh, you don't hear it anymore. So we had to change our name, but then finding a new name was quite challenging because you want a name that, that, uh, that matches with, with your organization, with what you do, with your DNA, with your team. So um, it was quite challenging and uh, it brought some stress from time to time, but we did it and we're very happy with the result and we're very proud of the result. Uh, we're almost uh, one year later, so um, yeah. It, but it has been very challenging uh, and it, uh, it took courage because you, you, you need to convince everybody, you need to convince all your stakeholders uh, within the organization, outside of the organization. Uh, not only in this strange time, but I think um, it's something that I often write on a, on a, on a card when a little baby is born. It are three words, explore, dream, discover. And I think it's important for everyone. Try to find out uh, what, what, what your possibilities are. Find out what will make you happy and just go for it. Uh, try it. It's okay to make a mistake or to, do, to, do, to not do things the way people expect you to do it, but just try it and see whether it will work out and especially find out whether it will make you happy. Thank you.